HelpAge believes has been serving the elderly for the past four decades to aid in the challenges associated with aging. Today, Chairman of the Non-Governmental Organization, Evan Dakers, is attending the Belize Social Protection Summit 2023 in Belize City. I think a summit like this definitely is very important for an organization such as ours. Um, some of the challenges, I will just mention one or two. Um, the first one that comes to mind is, of course, income insecurity. Um, we have a number of elderly persons who for no fault of their own, are not getting any type of pension. Now, some of these people have not been able to get the benefits because their employers did not contribute towards the Social Security scheme. And in some cases, maybe at the time when they were working, there wasn't any scheme. Dickers also noted that access to affordable and quality medications is a prevalent issue among elderly persons in Belize. The four-day summit was organized to bring various stakeholders together for the creation of a national social protection strategy that will address these kinds of concerns. UNICEF Belize is one of the organizers of the summit. The social policy specialist at UNICEF Belize explained why a national social protection strategy is necessary in the country. According to the Statistical Institute of Belize data, as of 2019, more than 50% of people were living in poverty and it's, it was especially high for children, among children. Around 60% of children aged 0 to 14 were, were living in poverty this time. And also, Statistical of Institute of Belize has conducted multidimensional poverty index uh, analysis in 2022. And according to this also analysis, people in Belize, including children, are deprived in many aspects, such as access to education, access to health, access to housing or living standards, and access to employment. So there are a lot of high level of poverty and deprivation in Belize. Therefore, social protection is very important in addressing uh, poverty and uh, deprivations in Belize. According to the Minister of Human Development, Dolores Balleromas Garcia, the government of Belize has been doing its part to reduce poverty. She says a national strategy shows that her party is committed to leaving no one behind. I'm delighted because I really believe that if our government, as we say we are, is committed to leaving no one behind, then we have to have that strategy. And it does take time to speak with partners to make sure that we can have that overall umbrella, as I like to call it. It's always a challenge for countries like ours, small, very vulnerable to external shocks. I think though that with Plan Belize we're going in the right direction because we have the rollout of the national health insurance, um, we have the creation of jobs, we have various aspects that are continuing. The Ministry of Education has been doing an excellent job in terms of rolling out the STEAM Academy and um, non-traditional jobs like in the IT vets. So when you talk about all of these issues, you're talking about social protection because the more we can reduce poverty, the better we will be. While the process to develop this national strategy is underway, the elderly population in Belize may be increasing in numbers. The last national population census revealed that the elderly make up fewer than 10% of Belizeans. Dicker says he believes that SIB's upcoming census report will reflect this increase. He also says that he is interested in hearing how the government plans to finance its strategy. In terms of what is taking, here, taking place here over the next couple of days, um, we are hoping that the partnership, because it's a partnership between government and private and NGO sector, that we can come up with some workable solutions that hopefully can be properly planned and most importantly financed. Because we can come up with all these beautiful plans and programs, but if they are not financed, it's of no use. No? So I'm looking forward in particular to a presentation later today in which there's going to be a presentation from the government of Belize in terms of how they envisage the financing of 
some of these um, recommendations. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.